Good morning guys, it's the 24th of March 2021 and this morning I wanted to talk to you about um, forcing our opinions and beliefs on other people. There's, there's a reason that I wanted to talk about this. Now, um, it's much known to those who know anything about me that I am a pagan. I am someone who is an omnivore but is working towards a plant-based diet um, and I refuse to have very much to do with the vegan community and the reason that I do that is because of one of the things one of the things I saw this morning which has absolutely made me it, it's only furthered my want not to have anything to do with them okay I'm just looking for it just just a second now apparently there has been an issue in Cornwall, which is somewhere near where I used to live, <laughs> um, where someone was going to set up a rabbit farm and they were looking for planning permission. Now there's all kinds of um, elation over the fact that planning permission has now been refused for this. Now. From what I've read about it, and I did a little bit of research of my own just now, there is no, it's not an intensive rabbit farm, number one. Number two, rabbit farming is actually more ecologically um, friendly than, um, and, you know, than things like pig and cows or dairy, dairy especially. Um, and quite frankly, just because you don't like something, doesn't mean that you can stop everybody else from having that thing. And it really annoys me when people do this. Human beings in general are omnivores. They have been, they are hunter gatherers. They have been for millennia. Just because you now think and believe that, you know, you have your own belief in how things should be done, doesn't mean this is the way to go about forcing other people's way. This is kind of like the guy from London who had a piggery um, shut, shut down when he moved to Cornwall and got himself a holiday home in Cornwall because he didn't like the smell. So, you know, this is a guy who went to the house maybe once a month for a couple of days and buggered off for the rest of the week back or the rest of the month back to London and he had an entire farm shut down because he didn't like the smell. Well, he bought a house in the country and as far as I'm concerned, the smells come along with it. <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Bit of a tickle. <laughs> Anywho, you know, if you want to, you know, show people that there's a different way, Go for it. Show them. But don't do shit like this. Okay? It's not an intensive rabbit farm. It was a rabbit farm. Yes. Okay, some people have them as pets. Not my problem. Some people in different countries eat animals on a regular basis, which is normal for them, that we consider, or some people consider, pets. Pardon me, oh my god, this morning, seriously. <coughs> but they're not pets. All animals, all animals are wild animals unless tamed and or bred for, you know, they're still wild animals if they're bred for, for eating or clothing, which rabbits would be, both. Um, because you wouldn't waste the pelts. That would be stupid. And what are you gonna do? Tell people right up in the north of places like Alaska and where there are native people up in the Arctic that they can't have their furs that they wear because that's the thing that actually keeps them, you know, they get them from their hunting. You know, that, that's a byproduct of them hunting for their food, you know? I, I, I get why some people are vegan, I get it. I totally get it. I am not a, a, a supporter of intensive farming at all. I am a supporter of more traditional farming methods, 
but I think what they've done today has not only a obliterated someone's chances for actually earning a living but you've also obliterated the chances of a teaching moment so you know maybe you could have been involved and seeing just how things were being done rather than going oh no not on my backyard you know to me that's as bad as what happened in Totnes when I lived down there where people were um, organising a protest against a mobile tower whilst using their mobile phones on Facebook to organise the protests. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nimbim. Nimbims. Okay, so, you know, instead of flogging your Nazist views, and they are quite Nazi's views it's like oh no you know I can't even speak to you if you eat meat kind of behavior then you're not going to learn anything and you're not going to be able to teach anything and those people who like flogging you with a dead cauliflower is not gonna help anything um you know which is why I have nothing to do with the vegan groups that are around because I um, done with being told that I can't do this and I can't do that. Um, I do what I do for my health. Yes, I have thoughts towards different ways of hunting. I have different ways, thoughts towards different ways of farming, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to flog people to death with those. What I am going to do is going to teach through my way and not ruin somebody else's chances of a teaching moment or working together with that person to make sure that they those animals have the best life possible see now you'll never know you'll never know and I'm horrified by this kind of reckless bullshit behavior it annoys me but I'm gonna go and I'm going to go and play in my garden because I can and then I'm going to do other stuff I don't know what I'll probably have to go in the kitchen and cook something because I'm cross <laughs> I really am I'm really cross so I'm going to have to go and cook something now put some videos together do some stuff like work you know Get my ass into gear. That'd be a good idea, hey? Alright. I will see you guys later on. Look, seriously, have an awesome day. Thanks for listening to my rambling bullshit. Um, just, look, if, if you have a belief, all tip power to you. But you're not going to teach anyone about that. And you're not going to actually soften anyone towards your cause if you beat them with a fucking sledgehammer with it or destroy their livelihood by being wankers about it so you know just keep that in mind i love you guys heaps take care have an awesome awesome day and don't fuck up anybody else's just because you're having a shit one bye bye